I have to say that I find it very interesting, maybe even curious, that um, you know the words that were chosen in Harry and the co claimants's um, claims against um, Rupert Murdoch and you know the additional defendants they want to add I think like 200 journalists or something like that they said that Murdoch and his his posse basically engaged in a quote cover up to quote mislead the public or to mislead the court I should say right is it a coincidence in your opinion that those particular words and additional charges are being sought at this particular time when the whole social conversation is about a potential cover-up at Kensington Palace and an attempt to mislead the public. I didn't catch it at first, but the mo you know when I walk, I get thoughts and I get epiphanies and I get clarity. So I've been walking a while and my brain has relaxed, and then I'm like, wait a second, that's very very interesting. You know, and, and the fact that they're trying to add it now means that, because they could have added that a long time ago, months ago, honestly. Why now? You know, why at this particular juncture, you know? I think that Harry's lawyers got some ideas for the case from what's going on right now with Harry's family in Kensington Palace, Buckingham Palace, etc. Right? Or it is a code, you know, it's a code to sort of nudge the zeitgeist to say you're not wrong there is a cover-up going on and there has been an attempt to mislead you right I'm just wondering because I find it very very curious the timing of this um, request by Harry's lawyers to I love this building honestly to um to add Murdoch based on these particular claims of a cover up and an intent to mislead but you know it could be a coincidence because coincidences do happen i just think it's very very interesting oh, anyway my darlings I guess that's it for this one. It's only three, three, three minutes, which is a very short video, but maybe short can be sweet sometimes, right? Short and sweet.